the criticism of the MCG pitch. Is it all fair in your opinion? I think it's not an easy pitch to score quickly on. So, I, you know, that's going to be Australia's problem. Even if they bat really well, it's going to take them a long time to get level with India. And, you know, they really would then need to build up a decent lead to have a hope of putting some pressure on them in the second innings. Uh, only thing for me, boy, or a couple of things. Actually, one, nothing changes. It's test match cricket, but plenty more time than you think. All that sort of stuff. Now it's a matter of um, absorbing the early pressure with a new ball and then grinding the shit out of them. What is it about your bowlers? Give them one day off, they'll win your game. That's right, yeah. It's actually true. Give them a day off. We'll probably give them more than a day off if we can. But for all of us as a group, this is where we get tested. Two puppies on the field. This is where we're going to stick together. We're in the corner talking to each other. We're up there. We're very going. This is where we're going to stick together. Every one of us. All right? Every one of us, but it gets tough. This is what great teams do. They stick together. Right? I'm going to do that out in the middle, off the field, keep sticking together. Right? If we start coming apart, then we're fucked. By the time we were batting, a um, few footholes opened up. 450 run lead, and they set the game up, and we just weren't good enough. Yeah! And he is gone. Finch goes. Yeah! Oh, catch it. Sakul Ishan Sharma settles and takes the catch. Yeah! <laughs> <Out! laughs> Kawaja goes for 21. Australia, three for 53 and in trouble. Bowlers win you series, not batsmen. Australia's batsmen are not giving the bowlers enough time off between innings. And it's not a happy change room. To the Australians, they are under siege. Oh, they like it. Full and given. Oh, oh Jasper Bumra is fired up. Australia seven for 138. Gloved and Payne goes. Hazelwood. Oh, bowled him. He's got six. Australia all out for 151. Trailed by 292. Virat Kohli decides to grind Australia down and bring the Australians out again. How much of a psychological blow is that? When the batting couldn't get its act together, suddenly the bowlers were called out there again. You know, they barely got treated the blisters from the first bowling innings and I'd have the second bowling innings. Well, they've got to be shell-shocked, the Australians. After basically two days in the field. And there's the opening runs. A lovely drive through the covers. Dances down the ground, connects well, it's one bounce four. Exciting, Paddy Cummins gets ready to swing into the attack. As a kid, I never really understood how taxing bowling is. Every time we run into bowl, it's 10 to 12 times our body weight going through our legs. You go out there, you bowl 20 overs in a day, you cover 20 odd K, and then they expect you to wake up and do it all again the next day. It's super exhausting. Pat Cummins, I think he could be the man. He's taken the big wickets in this series, but he still hasn't got a big bag. Maybe today is his day. Pat Cummins has been the player Australia identified as a teenager. Had essentially five years taken out of his career. He got injured all the time. People were going, oh, he doesn't play any games. He's always in the rehab centre. He always did it with a smile on his face, kept smiling, kept training. Right, is there a wicket here? There is. Yeah, that's a big blow for the Australians. Pat Cummins, tireless in his effort. My first test was in 2011, uh, Johannesburg, South Africa. I was out of school six months, bowled day one. I remember walking off and just had a sore heel. By the end of day three, I couldn't walk. Six, seven months out of the game because of that injury, and from there it was almost one after the other. I tore a side on my next tour, then I did my back and missed about six or seven months, and then did my back again, another seven or eight months. Cummins looks threatening, he looks dangerous. Getting back and playing test cricket and backing up day after day. That was 
No, something I definitely questioned because I felt so far away from that at times. Yeah, yeah there's another one. Pat Cummins in the action. We always knew how good he was, but I think now he's he's in that real sweet spot where he's he's got confidence in his body, he's got confidence in his skill. Oh, another one! What an inspired fielding position that is. Last seven boards, three for none. And what a spell this has been for Australia and for Pat Cummins on the field for pretty much the whole of this match. Four for two. He's on a hat trick. Well, will it be a hat trick for Pat Cummins? You wouldn't write him off at this stage. He's got four for two. He's on a roll. Oh, he's gone for us just wide of the leg gully. Pat Cummins, he's bowled over 100 overs in this series. He's battled away with the ball, with the bat in his hand, in the searing heat. He's still fighting on for Australia. Oh, it's a privilege to have bloody Sir Garfield Cummins behind us. <laughs> is there anything that man can't do? He is. I know he's got a little sponsorship deal with Gillette. But is there a more appropriate slogan for a man? The best a man can get. You're looking at it. Look at him. Oh, thanks, Paney. 